my name is Erica and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do my first book of the year. That's right. So I had said in uh, my last video, if you have seen it, my hair is really poofy today. Anyway, um, if you checked out my last video, I was talking about my uh, January, well, not January, my 2016 goals for reading. Um, and I do have a challenge for myself to read 100 books this year. Um, because I read a good, like, almost 80 books in 2015, so I figure 100 books is not that far off, so I should be able to do that. Anyway, so I decided that since I usually re record my reviews, um, like, as I finish the books, and then just splice them together for the month, that it would just be easier to do them as separate ones, and then my videos won't be so ridiculously long, and, um, yeah, and you'll still get the same me talking about the review and good stuff. So yeah, so anyway. So, this is book one out of 100 read, done, finished, yay! And the first book that I read in 2016 was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Um, can we just talk about how this, I, when I started, like, watching booktube videos, people were talking about V.E. V. V. E. Schwab, um, uh, specifically the book Vicious, which now I really want to read because she is a fantastic writer, like, fantastic. Um, the world in this is amazing. If you haven't read this yet, please go get it. Um, I actually, I ended up reading it because, well, because I heard about it on Booktube and it sounded so good anyway. It sounded really fascinating. It's been on my, like, list. Um, and they had it at my library and I was like, oh, and then it was the book, one of the book of the month, uh, books, books of the month, not book of the month, <laughs> books of the month in one of my Goodread groups. So I um, decided that I would participate and do that. So I went and grabbed it from my library and sat down to read it and instantly was like hooked from page one. Literally the first paragraph, I was kind of like really, but really intrigued at the same time. And I just was, I was totally enthralled by it and loved it. And I tried to explain it to people, like what I was reading about. And I'm like, I can't even explain. You have to read it because you can't, I can't, it's just, crazy hands. Um, the gist of it, because really I just find it really hard to explain. I feel like you have to get yourself in the world to understand it. So the main, goodness, plot points, whatever, the story. <laughs> the book is about a guy named Kel. Uh, he is somebody who lives in one London, Red London. Uh, but he can travel between other Londons because there's more than one in this book. That's right. There are actually four altogether. There's red, there's white, there's gray, there's black. Um, black was basically like over here. Nobody really goes there. Um, white is kind of scary, has a dual throne situation. It's a very strange place. Gray is kind of drab, hence gray. Hmm. Um, and red is like super magical and fantastic. The magic system in this is fascinating. Um, there's an entire thing where it's, it's blood magic, which seems really gross, but at the same time, really fun, like really unsanitary, but really cool at the same time, which is really neat. Um, I really like the villains in this book as well. Um, I thought they were just like drawn out really well. They were given like a lot of character. Um, so you could, I guess you could really like sink your teeth into hating them, um, and not feel bad about it. <laughs> They're really interesting though. I really, I really enjoyed, um, of like the more villainous characters. I really enjoyed the character of Holland. Um, I thought he was really interesting. I like Kel a lot. I loved Lila. The girls in my group, my Goodreads group, um, the, this particular Goodreads group, um, it's, uh, novel, novels, books, and reading challenges is what it's called. If you want to check it out. Um, and they do a lot of fun challenges, and uh, I really enjoy the way that they do books of the month. Um, instead of just doing like a general discussion, like, hey, have you, everybody's reading it, yay. Uh, they actually do a really structured one, so they, uh, everybody, um, they pick out like five or six people, depending on like how many sections they split the book up into. Um, they give you like a section of the book to read, which is usually like a 50 pages or so. Um, although when we did Wicked, we actually read like 150 pages like every time uh, because the book is so long but uh so that we can finish it in like um a good two week period it's usually two weeks to read the book and then they split the book into parts so that it works for that and then uh the structure is that there's like a specific amount of questions usually five or six questions for each section 
like you just go in and you kind of like share your thing on that and then you end up um, in this big discussion because of that and I find it really interesting and I find that I really uh, absorb the book differently and I end up in these cool discussions with people and it's just really fun I like it a lot um, I'm really excited about it so I like the books of the month um, in there I like to participate in them in that group I think it's the only group I really read the books of the month um, so uh, that, that is book one one of 100 99 to go um, I'm trying. I think it works. Um, yeah. Anything else I want to say in this one? I really like that though. I gave it five stars. Um, I really, really enjoyed Dr. Shared Magic. Definitely. I didn't want to put it down, but I had to. Um, I found myself like falling asleep in it a couple times. Like I had to, I had to put it down. Uh, I don't think I have anything negative to say about it really at all. Although I did like the opening. It opens on, uh, Cal's coat. Which is an interesting coat, and and it does it's like it, it's its own kind of character, I guess. Um, but it was really like like to open it that way. I felt like I was walking, in, I was I was stepping into this like super cheesy book. I was like, really, we're talking about a coat, and then it was like two pages later, and I really totally lost that. It was fine, and then I was kind of fascinated by his coat and everything. But I uh, I just the way it opened that was like the only thing negative for me. Cause, but it just kind of made me laugh too, so that works too. And I really love Lila. I was saying, so in my group, um, that's what I was talking about. This is literally how I am in life, like in general. I'm always tangenty. But anyway, um, in the group, because we're so structure, structured and stuff, like uh, people usually ask questions about different characters and stuff, and almost every person in my group hates the character of Lila. And I don't know why. I love her. I think she's so funny. She's a much needed, like, uh, like plug of humor and spunkiness and just snark <laughs> um, in the thing because Kel is not snarky um, and such so I think it's really fun I like the balance that she gives to everything um, I like the mystery behind her I like everything we learned about her I just really like her and I really hope because this is if you don't know A Darker Shade of Magic is part of uh, I believe it's going to be a trilogy um, the second book comes out in February um, and I'm definitely looking to pick that up when it comes out because it's really good yeah so that's what I that's my first book of the year what is your goal for 2016 are you reading like an enormous amount of books or have you like cut yourself down to less books do you make goals like that do you comment down below let me know um if you have any questions or any comments or whatever go ahead comment down below I will get to you it's awesome um and I don't know what I was gonna say <laughs> like the video if you liked it subscribe if you would like to see more and definitely leave me a comment down below um and i will see you in the next one which hopefully will be soon i have two weeks to read the book for my library which is sitting over there which i really really want to get to and i have a book sitting right next to me literally in my bed it's he's been sleeping in my bed with me because i'm determined to just like work through it i have about 400 pages left in this gigantic book i'm reading it's like an almost it's just shy of 800 pages um and I have about 400 pages left to get to it. You know what else I need to read? I need to finish Game of Thrones. I have like 250 pages left and I still haven't read it. I'm gonna do it. Mm. This is, I'm gonna, um, a lot of reading is gonna happen. I can feel it. Happy reading to you. I'll see you in the next one.